To start the RNA isolation and to attain sufficient yields, 50 zebrafish embryos are pulled into a mortar microfuse tube. The RNA is first extracted using trizole reagent and chloroform after being homogenized thoroughly. The RNA is then cleaned and purified using the Kyogen RNEZ mini kit to yield high quality non-degraded total RNA. For future applications and long-term storage, the RNA is synthesized into the more stable cDNA product. The cDNA is purified to remove the original RNA template strand. Hello, my name is Sam Peterson from the laboratory of Dr. Jennifer Freeman in the Department of Health Sciences at Purdue University. Today we will be showing you how to extract high quality RNA from whole zebrafish embryos and turn it into the cDNA product. Typically, we use this procedure to study gene expression profiles. So, let's get started. When working with RNA, it is very important to work in an environment that is free of RNAs. Use simple precautions such as having reserved pipettes for use only with RNA procedures and spraying the work area with RNAs away before starting extraction of total RNA. To start the extraction, work in the fume hood and pull 50 zebrafish embryos in a 1.5 ml microfuge mortar tube. Remove as much water as possible and immediately add 250 microliters of trizole reagent, which contains phenol. Use a pellet pestle to lyse and homogenize the embryos for approximately 20 strokes until the tissue is sufficiently disrupted. Then add 750 microliters of trizole reagent and incubate for 5 minutes at room temperature to permit complete dissociation of nucleoprotein complex. 